Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, uh, cross watcher. <laughs> what am I saying? Cross watcher. Cross summer, cross watcher, cross watcher. Oh, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The message could be for you, so feel free to take it out of resonance with you. You and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, just uh, my website link is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and click on that. Um, Shamanama. What else was I going to say? Oh, yes. You guys can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. All right. Just um, know that... Yeah, I post more things on quantum physics. Crazy things I play around with alchemically over there. So if you get... Oh, yes. Occasionally I get scammers over there. So if you get a follow request from an account posing to be me, here's the dealio. You can jump back to the description box down below for reference to all my social media links. I have nothing other than what's listed down below. Okay. And what was the other thing? Oh yes, I will never DM you for personal ratings, money, or donations of any kind. So if you guys get any of that, just please report and block. Just straight up, easy, gets taken care of fast. Okay, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you supported the channel. Let's dive in. Well, you're getting a victory this next week, Virgo some challenging energy and it is but look at this wow this is amazing okay um so i always see this as eight of pentacles is your card i i mean i know it's obvious it's like an earth energy but this next week you might be finding that you're getting a victory from your discipline which might kind of trip you out because you're seeing a result from Yes, your hard work, but the actual implementation of it, for example, you might get up super early in the morning. You know what I mean? You might be doing something about like routines. I The only reason I'm saying that too is because of the higher font is always kind of like a, it's a tradition person. It's like conformity ethics. It's, so it can be advice. So if you've got like an energy this can be more of like a spiritual, I'm not going to lie, but I've talked about this. I am going to talk about this. Okay. So the only reason I bring this up too, because you have this emperor card, this is some kind of like authoritarian. Sometimes it can even be like a dictator, but I don't know why I just said that, but that could be a person that needs to be in power and authority, which can be in the shadow and the light. And you might have been aware about that with a particular energy. Like, this is control and dominance. And I feel like what happened, Virgo, is like, you could have had a kind of an Aquarian kind of route. The only reason I'm saying that is because you have the star card, which is Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but every time, usually I'm talking about this stuff in either Taurus's readings or Aquarius, because they always have this hilarious connection, but for some interesting reason, it's coming out in yours. And the Hierophant with the Emperor is like a, almost like a dictatorial kind of frequency it's like this is the way and you might be in a bit of defiance but like this is a tricky line to balance like there are aspects of the self-discipline that are good and beneficial to take on but you might be taking like a unique route with your discipline i know i'm sounding super vague but it's like this is the this is the path that you usually have to follow it's like going and you might want to follow your small victories you'll see it you know you'll see that when you do the things that are kind of uncomfortable or like aren't really catering to like this which is kind of funny this is like the queen of cups so that queen of cups is like um more daydreamy or in certain times i could see i don't really see the mother of cups as like a disciplinarian she's more like if you were to have parents 
like the emperor would be the strict mars one and the mother of horns would be like the super compassionate lets a child almost get away with everything and for some reason that's coming in that is the weirdest combination i've ever got but that's why i'm saying like there's a bit of defiance here but also at the same time like you could be doing like feeling like you don't want to be involved in someone's structure some of you guys this is either a boss or like i said someone who's in control and you might be aware of it this is mars when mars comes in <laughs> it's like an energy that is like beneficial to a point when it turns too much into shadow that's when it really gets bad you know what i mean like and that can be trauma and you know like if you've got an emperor that hasn't done their psychological work it is crazy what they start to do and that i don't know what you the extent of what you guys are dealing with but if you're just kind of taking your own path with the star card like there's an energy that's this is what can really happen is like there's an energy that lights up a path in your reality so that's why i was saying is it an aquarius for you or is it something that's actually coming in and it's just illuminated it's like freaking lit up all around and you know that that's like the path for you you know that that's the direction that you're either meant to take or you're like that is that's it like it feels more like that to me now it feels like yes your discipline is bringing in a victory. Feels like to me also that you're actually conquering something. You're the one overcoming. It's like you're coming back a little bit stronger. Do you know what I mean? And every time like someone could try to affect you or, you know, like that Mars energy, it will come in and expose some kind of sensitivity or vulnerability but that is the positive aspect of it it's like very interesting because it can be something that like it makes you it's like you don't want to completely lose yourself and become hard too hard to the world which i find really fascinating that the mother of cups is coming in like queen of cups because it's like you're still maintaining compassion or a sensitivity but you're becoming like very strong from this Mars energy that's interjecting themselves in your reality. Do you know what I mean? So you have the nine of wands. Yeah, this, that is what it feels like. This could be presenting, there could be an energy that just feels like it's presenting a lot of challenges for you. Okay. Hmm. We have the hanged man and the page of swords. Okay. There's, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of Pisces and Aquarius energy in your reading. And then you've got the knight of cups and the magician. Let's see. Oh. There's the truth. It could be an announcement or a breakthrough and that it's going to announce an ending. Ten of Swords and the Death card. All right. That's really crazy that it popped out like that. And, okay, this is very interesting because, all right. So you have the Page of Swords with the Ten of Swords, and then you have the Knight of Cups with the Death card. This is Scorpio, and that's a water sign, and that that <laughs> that probably won't feel as significant to you guys. To me, it's like, whoa. So, here's what I'm seeing. There's an energy here. This Page of Swords, it feels like a completely different energy, okay? There's a person here that is like either just went through a dark night of the soul but there's still like a checking in page of swords is kind of like a <laughs> there's a person here that's trying to gather information i wonder if it's about you virgo this person is still like um they just went through some type of a really hard ending things were crazy okay and there was a holding pattern that was happening here um and this nine of wands, though, you know, 
with it coming out at the beginning of a spread, this is like a not, I don't, I mean, it's the typical thing. There's a lot of person's perseverance here and refusing to give up. It's either in your process or on a person. Do you know what I mean? It is very determined. <laughs> okay. It's actually really interesting. So it feels like to me that there is a connection here. This page of swords in this knight of cups and then we've got the magician card with the ace of swords sorry i'm trying to just like oh okay the magician card and the ace of swords feels like an energy that's either about to announce something or they speak the truth okay it's it's gemini virgo it can typically technically be your card but with it also being gemini it's like a mercurial energy that's coming in to like announce something Everything is about to be cleared up. And it could be from this emperor energy. Whoever's in some kind of power or authority, it's like things are about to become very clear. And... Huh. Okay. Wow, uh, this is interesting what I'm getting. Okay. There were, like, two endings. Okay. Um, hmm. What is that? I'm trying to catch on to what that is. Okay. Oh, okay. So, there's this Knight of Cups energy. Male or female. Definitely don't get caught up on gender. I think that's why I like this deck quite a bit. Because, like, most of the cards don't really have a gender to them. Anyway. So... Um, it feels like to me that there's some kind of romancer or a Don Juan, <laughs> you know, with the Knight of Cups. Like, it feels like to me, um, I wonder if it is a player. But with the death card there, okay. This could be a health crisis or something with the Ten of Swords and death card. So someone could have been going through some kind of a dark night of the soul or a health crisis, okay? And dealing also with some power struggles. That can also be very strong in this. And here's what's interesting about this too, because that Aries energy freaking dominates, okay? And it can be like a challenging energy to deal with too because like it's causing some kind of obstruction or blockages okay and it's not very pleasant i'm seeing but it's very interesting here because i'm Sorry, I know I just went quiet, but I was trying to pick up on the details of this because it feels like to me, okay, this might be something too. Virgo, it feels like to me, oh, <laughs> see, this is very interesting. It feels like to me that there's an energy here. There's like a keeping tabs because every time that is the page of swords is like stalking. So you're either stalking someone and it feels like to me like there's a, um, like you get the truth about a person or a situation. Okay. And what's interesting too, because whenever the death card and the knight of cups come in, comes out, like that's a very interesting energy because it feels like to me a person that is trying to get ahead. I almost even want to say an opportunist, but it could be a person here that's like romancing a certain situation, but it's, it's from a place of power. The death card is death, sex, transformation, taxes. It's like debts. And this is very strange because I'm getting here that someone could be like flirting or being kind of, um, uh, maybe even flirtatious or something, but it's like with a ulterior motive. It's kind of like a with 
like you owe me tied to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I guess what I would say is watch out for any kind of transactional manipulations. You know what I mean? But it feels like there's an announcement coming. That Ace of Swords is always like a breakthrough. Okay, like things are going to be cleared up. There, Like whatever had been confusing because this hanged man is kind of like things weren't really clear. It's like you had to just kind of like you could have felt burnt out or you were having to keep at something until you could officially release something. And the hanged man is like everything is about to come become very clear. And that is the eclipse energies that are coming in. So like whatever decisions were made in the past, everything is about to be cleared up from this mercurial energy. It's like I said, there's an announcement here. Hmm. So I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, no extended for this week. So I hope you guys got something useful from it. With that being said, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.